Hi there, welcome back to 1KB Construction. And in today's video, I'm out here laying some veneer stone. And I wanna walk you through the basic of how to lay veneer stone. I wanna to explain to you how to form your pattern, how to put your marker onto your stone, and um, learn the rules of how to lay veneer stone. All that is coming up in this video. So if this is your first time laying veneer stone, you choose the right video. The way I'm gonna teach you, if you're laying veneer stone and concrete wall, brick wall, cement board, is the same process you apply either one. But today we're laying it on our cement board here. So you wanna put Tyvek over your, your wall. For instance, the ply wall. First thing you wanna put your Tyvek. After Tyvek, tape up the seam. After you tape up the seam, you wanna go over your cement board and waterproof. The entire joints that you see here, waterproof it, we put our mesh. And you waterproof it, you also want to go over your screw, put some mud over your screw before you go ahead and install your stone. So with no further ado, let's dive right into the video. Before you jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more fun videos like this one. Let's get started. So for this job, you will need some basic stool, a uh, small trowel, very important. <laughs> You will need also, you will also need some spacer. This is a quarter inch. This one is a one eighth. I'm just gonna do, use both of them to get like a three inch joint. Okay, so you, as you see already here, we already started our, our band. Usually you wanna go with the same size stone. Lay, lay, lay the same size stone to around two to three feet. And afterwards, we're gonna break it. I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. So I have my stone here, just gonna apply our mortar to our stone. Just right on to it like this. We're looking for a quarter to so half an inch coverage of mortar onto our stone. The stone is higher than so you might gonna have to put two red and one block in some cases just so you can balance the, the joints so here this line here is already around three feet so we want to put a stone right here and then we're going to put a different side right in front so that we can break this line from going further than it is right now squeeze them on nicely so squeeze them on Get our spacer, our spacer right here just like so. Now that we have this one here, we need to put a different size to break the band. So we already have here a small and we have a medium here. This stone that we're laying is a three dimension stone. So we only have small, medium and big. So in order to break this band here, we have to put a, gonna put a big one here because we already have a small one here already. one is going good because it's too close to the joint you want to always stay away around four inches away from from your joints so we're going to try and find a bigger one from here or we can either extend this one a little further maybe we can extend this one a little further that way we can put that stone right there Nicely. And I have here a 3 8 joint as our head joint. This one here, I'm gonna put this one right here. Put the space I'm bringing up back to the same level. The big size stone, this one is the biggest size stone we have here. Once you reach up to the same height as the biggest size stone, you always have to put a stone right across and break it. One other rule, you don't want to go no higher than the biggest size stone you have. The moment you reach the biggest size stone, you have to put one stone across and break this one here. It's important to make sure that the, the previous stone is match up 
with the new one that you have. For instance, this one is already here. You want to make sure this one and this one is in line. A medium and a small had up to be the same as the big one. So the moment you reach up to a medium and a small, it's the same process you have to go across to break it. But keep on watching, you see as I go. So this line here is already around two feet six. Now you can just put a different size right in front of this line so that way you break it so that you don't go no more than you're allowed to go around four feet. So right now we are allowed to put another piece to around here, which I'm gonna do to extend this line a little longer. The longer you run the line, it's easier for you as a beginner to figure out the way how to lay the stone. But that said, you don't want to go no more than four feet. Just gonna put this guy right here now. Put one spacer here. Move the adhesive monitor. Here we're gonna put a medium. Just gonna cut this one right here. have a small most likely it's calling for a medium so right here we're gonna put a medium and then it's gonna have for a small on top of the medium to bring it up to the same height remember I told you that once you have a medium and a small it had up to be the same as the big so the moment you reach up to the, the height of the medium we're gonna have to put a small here and then we have to break this line here you see what I mean in a second underneath you see I put my spacer in the half I put half here and I leave half here so that when I'm laying the next stone I can put the next stone right here so that we can maintain the same level as this one here it's very important right here put the spacer so right here I just see this line continue through here so what you have to do in order what you have to do here, being as this line is, is more than four feet, you want to put a medium, a big stone right here so that you break this line so that it don't go no bigger than, no longer than four feet. So now we have to find a stone that fit here. Perfect. So we have to find one. This is the perfect size. As, as I told you, we need to clear it up a little bit. stone guys it's pretty simple as you see here while you lay the big one it's already telling you clearly that you need to put a medium here because this this height this size that we have here or the height that we have it's calling for a medium so what i'll do i'll put a medium right here stop around here four inches away from this edge and then we continue from here on over with small so let's see for this one this one I'm just gonna cut it around here. They are already four inches from there. There's some more, a medium one right here. Squeeze them on. Okay, put another big one here. Once it's away four inches from the end here. Good to go. Again, the reason why I'm putting a big one here now because we need to break this band here because it's already almost four feet. So if we could either put a medium, we could we could put a small one here to break this line, or we can put a big one here to break it. But either one works. So we're gonna put a big one here now. Try 
it in the middle there so that we can join the other one that's gonna go there. Easy one. And you see here we put a, we have a medium here. We put a big one. Fear the calling for a small one right here now. We just gotta put a small one to reach up to the height as the big one. And then we have to keep on repeat the same thing again. We have to break it as once we go above. You'll see as I go. Keep on watching. Step, over, step away from this joint at least four inches and I'm going to replace this one with a different size in here so that way we can put a different size in here so that we can break this line here because we don't want this line here to go no longer than four feet like I said earlier so here we can put a medium one here to break this back you could put either a big one here or a medium but because we already have a big one down here it's better to put a medium one over here Once you have a medium here, you have a small here. In most cases, it's calling for a medium beside it. You have to put a medium. There's no other stone you can put there. Reason why if you put a big one here, then you will break the rule because the line will be longer than the biggest size stone. So here you know that once you have a small beside a medium, you already know that it's a medium gonna go there. Now we just need to make a mark for this one. Just want to put it line up with the previous one that's already there and leave your, your three edge joint and then we're going to cut this off. To cut this stone you can use an angle grinder or you can use a, a steel saw. You can use one uh, like a concrete saw. You can rent one from your local hardware. You go and hold one. So you see here we are back, this one fit perfect, so right here now it's calling for a medium, so we just got to put a medium one here now. Guys, if you're getting value from this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this one. And this channel will do all different type of tutorial on a daily basic. We do here brick block, stone interlock, paver, concrete, tapping, tree drywall, taping, all this stuff. So for sure you will learn something. Subscribe, subscribe and be a part of the team. This one we can put here because we are we are around four inches away from the hedge. Stop. This one right here, squeeze him on. It's your spacer. See here, I just put a small one because it's, you have a medium. Once you have a medium you know it's a small to bring it up to the same height once you reach up to the same height you know you have to break it it's pretty simple and straightforward guys let me know in the comment section if you're getting what i'm trying to explain here let me know what is difficult for you to understand so that we can cover it in our upcoming video so now that we have here right here as you see remember i told you you have to put a medium once you have a medium and a small between each other over here it's a medium and over here it's a small to bring it up to the same height. So here I'm just going to put a medium here and then we're going to fill here with a small. And this line is okay because it's not four feet so we can break this line right here. So here we're going to put a small to break it to prevent it to go more than the line that more than the length that's already that's already there now. So one thing I want you to take away from this video you don't get nothing just always remember that your bed joint which is one not supposed to be longer than four feet 
and the head joint not supposed to be longer than the biggest size stone you have, which in my case is this one here. So once you reach up to the height of this one, you have to break it into the different size. That's probably one of the most important things in laying stone. And learning these basic things, laying these basic rules of laying stone, you can apply it to any type of stone that you're laying. You can apply it to man-made, natural stone, culture, all the type, all, you know, all, all the different type of stone you can, it's just the same procedure you use in order to lay all of them. So learn these, these rules that I'm trying to explain to you guys here, that I'm trying to teach you guys. You can go ahead out there and, and use it on any different type of stone to be perfect. Maybe by the time. Yeah. I said maybe by the time we reach up, we reach up there, so. Yeah. And you probably don't know where we can use this scaffold. So we have a medium, you can go with a small, I'm just going to put this small here and then we're going to put a big one right here to break this band here because we already have a medium one here so we're just going to put this small one to break this line that's already there Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here, but I wanna give you a, I wanna recap what I just um, explained to you guys. If you don't take away anything from this video, I'm gonna recap the most important part of it. The most important part is to remember that you don't wanna go no bigger than the biggest size stone you have, which in my case is this one in height. So once you reach the biggest size stone, you have to put one across, just like you see I did here. Medium and the, and the medium and the small add up to be the same as the big but once you reach up to this height you have to put one across that one is that's probably one of the first rule and you don't want to go no height no longer than the four feet or three feet you have to put one right in front just like you see I put one right here in front of this line here and then break it so we start a new line now you are allowed to go up here and continue on again to another four feet and then you have to put one in front and break it. Another rule, you want to stay away from the joint. So as you see I have this joint here, you don't want to come here. You want to stay at least away four inches from this joint here before you continue with another joint. Sometimes you might run where you might come three inches, which is fine if it's a medium and a small because as, as we know a medium and a small add up. So as you see this joint is already long. So if you come here with like the same medium and then the small gonna add up then you might get away with it but try to prevent having a joint close to less than four inches away from each other that way you get a better banding the joint ties better it's more stronger in my opinion but if you don't take away anything from this video take away don't go no higher than the biggest size stone and before and once you reach four feet or less break it and put a different break it by putting a stone in front and start a new line keep on what just keep on repeating the same process as you go try to prevent to put a medium on top of a medium once you read once you have a medium it's calling for a small once you have a small it's calling for a medium to add up to be the same as the big one hope you get value from this video we do lots more video like this one my job is my job here is just to teach you guys how to just to teach you guys to become a mason I teach you homeowners to learn how to do this by yourself. So if you want to learn more, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the team. Whenever I upload more video like this, you get notified and you can come back and watch it. My name is Ryan and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.